Yo, 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 what's going on, fellas? It's your boy Tristan, aka Surat DFS, back once again with DFS Karma with another episode of First Impression, where we do a very early preview of the upcoming NBA slate. The main purpose of this video is to give you guys the uh, totals of each game, who's favored, injury rundown, who benefits, who takes a hit from it. You know how it is. Like always, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you do not miss out on any of our free media content or our live streams. Also, make sure you're in our free chat room where we discuss these DFS 24 7 all day, every day. NBA, MLB, NHL, uh, NFL's coming up, uh, esports is back, WNBA's coming back, you know how it is, go down in the description below, chatdfs.com, get in for free, accept the invite, it's a good time, with that being said, let's get started, it's a Sriracha Sunday, we only got six games on this slate, first game is Dallas at Cleveland, this is a run it back, they just played each other, I think on Friday, opened up at a 217.5 total, Dallas favored by 9.5 on the Dallas side, Maxi Kleber's questionable, and Kristaps Porzingis is out, um, if Max Kleber continues to be out, then it's a bump up to Dwight Powell uh, and Willie Colley Stein, but not both. It would be one only, in my opinion. Um, and then a bump up to either uh, Dorian Finney Smith, J Josh Richardson, or um, Luka Doncic. Uh, he's been pretty underwhelming lately. Um, I don't think that all of them go off at once. I think at least just uh, probably just one limited um, goes off at one time. So um, you have to basically. Russian roulette that on the Cleveland side, Kevin Love is questionable. Larry Nance is out. Torian Prince is out. Matthew Della Vadova is out. Dylan Windler is out. And Darius Garland is out as well. Bump up to Colin Sexton. Huge bump up to him because no Darius Garland. Isaac Okora gets a bump. And if Kevin Love is continued to be out, then bump up to Dean Wade. Um, next game is Minnesota at Orlando. Opened up at a 229.5 total. Minnesota favored by 7. On the Minnesota side, Jaden McDaniels is out. Jarrett Culver is out. Malik Beasley is out. It's a big bump up to Jared Vanderbilt in cash and uh, he's going to tournaments too but Juancho Hernan Gomez is also going to be lower owned in tournaments as well um, on the Orlando side Willie Col uh, Wendell Carter is at questionable Juma Okeke is out Markel Fultz is out Terrence Ross is out James Ennis is out and uh um, Otto Porter is out as well, along with Michael Carter Williams. If Wendell Carter is out, then it's a big bump up to Mo Bamba, who has been seeing big minutes, big minutes, sorry, and a bump up to uh, Mo Wagner, um, R.J. Hampton, and Cole Anthony. Um, but one, not both for for the guards. I would only play either one of R.J. Hampton or Cole Anthony on the New Orleans side. Or sorry, um, yeah. Uh, next game is the New Orleans game uh, at Charlotte. Opened up at a 220 total. Uh, Charlotte favored by four on this four and a half in this game. On the New Orleans side, Nikhil Alexander Walker is probable. S uh, Steven Adams is questionable. Brandon Ingram is doubtful. Zion Williamson is out, and Josh Hart is out as well. Big bump up to Lonzo Ball and Nikhil Alexander Walker will be coming back. I do expect a lot of the usage from Brandon Ingram and Zion Williamson to go to him. We'll see if he's going to be limited or not. If he's not, if he's playing starting and all that jazz i fully play him um and the steven adams is out bump up to willie hernan gomez and uh jackson hayes and gpps um play one not both in my opinion um we did see a, a game where both of them went off which is strange um not sure if that's going to happen again because the offense mainly, mainly came from those dudes so that's just something to note charlotte side Devonte graham questionable cody martin out miles bridges out and gordon hayward out as well if um, Devontae Graham is continue to be out, then bump up to LaMelo Ball, Terry Rozier, and then uh, Malik Monk is good in GPPs, but don't play him and pair him up with LaMelo or Terry Rozier. I would definitely play Malik Monk as a separation, iso uh, separated isolation type sort of situation where he's a one-off. Um, on the next game, Chicago at Detroit opened up at a 221.5 total. Chicago favored by 8.5, and, and Detroit's on a back-to-back. -back. On the Chicago side, Troy Brown is out. Nothing really changes here. On the Detroit side, I hate reporting them. They always have consistent, continuous injuries. Like, Josh Jackson's questionable, didn't play last night. Hamadou Diallo's questionable, didn't play last night. Dennis Smith Jr.'s questionable, didn't play last night. Magruder's questionable, didn't play last night. So, like, we still need news here. We need news all the time. We could see Jeremy Grant rest, Mason Plumlee rest, Corey Joseph rest. We could see everything. So, definitely just monitor this situation, and let's move on. Phoenix at Lakers, next game on the slate. Opened up at a 214 total. Phoenix favored by six. On the Phoenix side, Cam Johnson is out. Abdel Nader's out as well. Basically, just a bump up to Tory Craig and a huge bump up to Jay Crowder. I think he's going to receive like at least 25 to 30 plus minutes, maybe. So, definitely like him tomorrow. Um, on the Lakers side, Marcus All is probable. Kentavious Caldwell Pope probable. Anthony Davis probable. Taylor Horton Tucker is questionable. Alex Cruz is questionable. Kyle Kuzma is doubtful. LeBron James out. Dennis Schroeder out. 
I imagine uh, Kyle Kuzma to be out, so it's basically a bump up to Kentavious Caldwell Pope, Ben McLemore in tournaments. Um, if Taylor Horton Tucker is in, I think he gets a bump up as well, but I see mainly all the usage going to and funneling to Anthony Davis tomorrow, so uh, it's going to be a tough matchup against Phoenix for sure. Next game, last game, OKC at Sacramento, but up at a 221.5 total, Sacramento favored by 10 and a half. OKC is on a back-to-back on the OKC side, Alex Edge Pokushevsky's questionable didn't play last night. Ty Jerome questionable didn't play last night. Mike Muscala out. Uh, Horford out. Shea Gilgis Alexander out. We definitely do need news for this because if Alex Edge Pokushevsky's out, then we bump up the Omaladon, Lou Dort, Darius Baisley still. And if Ty Jerome's out, it's a bump up to Svi Mikhailuk. Sacramento side, Harrison Barnes questionable. De'Aaron Fox questionable. Tyrese Halliburton out. If Harrison Barnes continues to be out, bump up to Margaret Bagley. Um, if De'Aaron Fox is still to be out, then bump up to DeLon Wright, Buddy Heald, Terrence Davis. Basically, he's just, he's like the guy that has the most usage on the team. Bumps up everyone, but mainly those three players for sure. Um, yeah, monitor the situation. That wraps up this first impression for the upcoming NBA slates. If you like the video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more daily media content and live streams. Uh, like this video, like, you know, how we just put out media content, you know? Free, free prize pick plays, um, free, I think, monkey knife fight plays, um, free articles, free advice, free, it's, it's just there, it's free, it's free. I appreciate you guys all for watching, um, and as always, it's been your boy Tristan, aka Swatch DFS, I'm out, peace.